completely sure about that one. Um, okay, so Priceline. The first thing I picked up from Priceline was the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. It is in fact what I'm actually wearing. It might actually be too light. Um, this is in light Claire. I actually, so far, I like the finish, which is funny because it's kind of a matte finish, but it doesn't, I don't think it looks dry. Um, and I didn't like go like full on, I've probably got maybe medium coverage because you can still see demon and demon. Um, but it, it dries down too, which is something that, um, that's the main reason I picked up this. Um, I put about five different foundations from different brands on the back of my hand and then walked around the shop for a bit. This was the only one that dried down properly. Um, whereas the others all kind of were still tacky, which I don't like because even then when I set them, I find they still move around or they like come off. So, so far I am liking this. I also got the new Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in 05 Ivory which is a new colour, because um, I was using 15, which is the next lightest colour. 10 is darker than 15. Don't get caught like I did, because the first time I bought this, I bought it in 10, and I hated it, because it was completely the wrong colour. And then I got 15, and I don't mind it so much. It still does crease on me under my eyes, even when I set it, but I'm older, and I have lines under my eyes, and I sit far enough away from the camera that you can't really tell. It looks fine. Which actually reminds me, the day that I went and I did this shopping, I was accosted, for want of a better word, for, by a salesperson for this skincare company. And he he's like looking at me really strange and then he goes, can I ask you a question? And I thought he was going to ask me a question about my hair because, you know, that's what it usually is. And then he says to me, he goes, you, you look like a, and he called me Miss, you know, he was trying to score points here. And then he's like, you look like you, you care about your skin. And I'm thinking, okay. And then he goes, especially the skin under your eyes, what do you use? <coughs> and I'm like, a really good concealer? Because I had had two and a half hours sleep. I'd been to the city. I'd been in a meeting for nearly an hour. And then I'd gone shopping. And I, was just like, I knew I looked pretty ratchet. And <laughs> And he's like, yeah, especially, the, and, and then he's like, have you heard about collagen? And I'm just like, uh, yeah, I have a bus to catch. And then he goes, which bus are you catching? And I was like, dude, um, that was the polite way of me saying not interested. It amused me, like, it made me laugh for like fully 10 minutes after that because like, what do you, like, yeah, I looked like shit. <laughs> That was pretty funny. Um, I picked up the Australian international version of Lash Paradise. This is what it looks like. And it's called Paradise Ecstatic. But it is Lash Paradise. I don't know why they had to call it something different. You tell me. Um, I got the Australis Powder Contour and then... I realized today, I already have this one. This is Havana. It's actually a really, really good color. Like, I really like it. Um, this is this a new thing that they are doing where you can buy a magnetic palette and then you can buy the individual pans um, that you want to get, which I think is a great. There is... I will swatch this for you just so you can see it. So it's probably pretty hard to see. That's like <laughs> it's a good contour for pale pasty people, um, which is what I was looking for. They have uh, three different shades of contour, I believe. Um, I also picked up the powder highlighter called Baby Doll. Um, 
they had a couple of different highlighters, but this was... The hi highlighters is one area of my collection that I don't have a huge amount of them. I've, I've got a bit more now than I used to have, but I don't have a huge amount of them. Um, so this is... Looks like, it looks kind of like um, face powder for somebody with slightly darker skin than me. That's it right there. It's pretty nice. And it is pretty nice. That is why I got that one. That is not the highlighter I'm wearing today. The highlighter I'm wearing today is actually the NYX Duo Chromatic, which is another newer one to my collection. It's kind of green. Which I think is cool. <laughs> that might be a new one too. Um, I probably I don't know if I pulled that one because I hadn't swatched, hadn't swatched it, hadn't opened it or anything. So um, I bought some duo lash adhesive. Um, always a good thing to have. Um, and I didn't have a hundred dollars worth of stuff after I went to the thing. Because you got to remember, in Australia, prices are different, and they're quite a bit higher. And even at half price, things are pretty fucking expensive. So the um, the Lash Paradise was twelve forty seven at half price. Like that's how much it cost. And that's the same as I paid for the foundation. So, um, these lashes, I don't think they were actually on sale. And I paid a ridiculous amount of money for them, quite frankly. Um, but they put me over the $100 mark, so... Uh, these are the Eyelua Exaggerate Lashes in 149. And they are pretty extreme. I have heaps of lashes and I barely wear them, but... Um, the rest of the stuff that I bought is now polish. Ooh, that's stuck. I nearly had a heart attack then because I thought I'd broken the bottle. Um, so, uh, Essence wasn't on sale which is fine, because Essence is $5 a bottle anyway in Australia. But they have this new line, um, the Cosmic Lights collection. This is a Hollow Me Crazy, which is purple with holographic. Holographic chunkies in it. Um, to the Moon and Back, which is a pink with hollow in it. And then Cosmic Star. The um, number one, whatever number one is, was not there. <laughs> so I only have two, three, and four. That's probably a silver or something. Um, I don't know because they didn't have a slot for it. So, um, and then I got these three. Um, Revlon ones, and one of these I literally paid a dollar seventy-five for, which is amazing because it was on clearance, and then they did seventy-five percent off. And the other two I got at six ninety-seven, and uh, Revlon nail polish in Australia is roughly fourteen or fifteen dollars, so good price. So this was the one that I got for a dollar seventy-five. This is provocative. My camera doesn't like it. It's a really bright orange. It looks very red in the ca in the viewfinder, but it's actually orange. Um, I picked up from their holographic. I guess it's the holographic type line, judging by the lids. This one is amethyst smoke, which is kind of a purple uh, to tealy green duo chrome. I can't actually see any holographic in it, so... But it still looks really cool. And, um, Hologasm. 
which I can see the hollow is just not super duper obvious, but it's a, a silver holographic. And if you know me, you know I love a silver holographic. Speaking of silver holographics, Barry M is an English brand which you normally can't get pretty much anywhere else other than England or like the United Kingdom. Um, but for some reason, we have some Barry M in Priceline now. And when I say some Barry M, I mean a very small display that had uh, four of the unicorn drops, which are like, you know, the liquid highlighter type things, some powder stuff, which I don't know what it was, and one nail polish, which was the only thing I was interested in. And mainly because it happens to be a silver holographic. Um, it is called Diamond Glitter. And it has uh, large holographic hexes, large-ish holographic hexes, come on, um, in it. So I now have my first and only barium nail polish. And I'm actually very happy, because when I saw that on the website, I was like, oh my god. That is great. Uh, speaking of holographics, how about some holographics that aren't holographic? Uh, if you have watched my channel for a while, you'll know a little while back I did some nail polishes from BYS, which is a brand that we get here in Australia, um, that they were calling holographic. And I was like, dude, those are not holographic. And then Ulta 3 did some holographic ones, which weren't holographic. BYS has been added again, and they have created three more holographic nail polishes, which are not holographic. <laughs> they're pretty. They're iridescent. But they're not holographic. And when I say they're pretty, I'm, I'm serious. They are, like... This is the first one. This is called Transcend. And it is beautiful. But not holographic. Then there's this one, which is called Extra Terrestrial. Which again, is beautiful. But not holographic. It's got a really nice duochrome kind of thing going on with like the iridescence. It's freaking gorgeous, but... And then my favourite of the lot, which very clearly does not have holographic in it, um, is Unicorn Magic. The name is perfect. It is purple and sort of greeny blue and pink and... Uh, Gorgeous, but not holographic. So they were they. I picked those up from um, Kmart, and then then I was in the Terry White Chemist. No, oh, it used to be Terry White. I think it's called something else now. Anyway. They had some Sally Hansen nail polishes from the, um, what do they call this line? The Colour Therapy line. And they had them on sale. Now, these are normally $16.95 in Australia. Or in that particular chemist. And these are on sale for $5 each. So I picked up the four that they had. So, <laughs> the four colours that they had. So this one is Shimmering Heart. Which is funny, it looks a lot like Transcend. <laughs> There's a lot of similarities going on there. <laughs> so that's Shimmering Heart. It's kind of like a cream with a really strong pink uh, shift to it. There's a pink sapphire, which is this pinky red with a very strong pink shift, which is just gorgeous. And there is Orchid Amethyst, which is a really nice purple with, it's kind of, it's got a, like a ready pink shift in it. 
And then my personal favourite, which will be going on my nails because it's going to be perfect for a manicure that I have to do. Um, oh look, that label wanted to come off. Um, this is Smoky Emerald. And this is an emerald green, but it actually has a purple flash to it, which my camera doesn't seem to want to pick up. But it's there. And it is gorgeous. I love it. Looks great in the bottle. I hope it looks as good on the nail. Um, and then I had, I was in um, Chips Tips, and they had a bunch of Revlon Colorstay um, on like deep discount that they were like, I think they were like two dollars a while. So I bought all the different ones that they had. Um, so we have Delicious, which is kind of a tomato-y red kind of colour. We have Bold Sangria, which is a purple. Uh, Midnight, which is a teal. Marmalade, which is an orange. Sunburst, which is a different orange. And That would make a really interesting monochromatic manicure. Um, then we have this one, which is the only one that has like shimmers in it. This is French Roast, which has it's got all these glittery particles in it, which is the only one of these that has glitter in it. Um, then we have Bare Bones, which is a light nude or light, light neutral and then we have stormy night which is a brownie grey kind of shade and the last of them I went into chemist warehouse while I was in town um, and I have not found in any of the other places that I go shopping. I have not found any of the Sally Hansen Crayolas anywhere in Australia. I mean, they don't look too hard, but I was really interested in them. You know, there's kind of like a nostalgia to anything that's Crayola. Um, and I found five of the um, Sally Hansen Crayola nail polishes, so I bought them. So I have uh, Razzle Dazzle Rose, which is a bright pink. Um, Blutiful. It's, it's clearly blue. Inchworm, which is a lime green. Apricot, which I guess is what they consider apricot coloured. Not really what I consider apricot coloured, but anyway. Um, and Atomic Tangerine, which is orange. Um, and then I found these two extreme hard as nails, which, again, that would make a nice monochrome um, manicure. This one is Jazzy Jade. It has some shimmer in it. And this one is Big Teal. So they were both on sale as well. And the last thing I got when I was there was two of the Balmain Paris um, lipstick oh, I, I don't quite know what they call this but it was like a special edition L'Oreal thing where they did a whole bunch of different lipsticks in different colours um, in special packaging and most of the places I saw them you could buy them in and I was like really interested in these when I saw them um, I think I saw them on Allura's channel um, but they had some unusual colors they had some normal colors but they had some unusual colors and I loved the packaging on these 
This is the green one, and the packaging looks a lot like malachite, which is really cool. And the blue packaging has the same kind of thing, but it's a bit harder to see because of how deep the blue is. So there was one lot in blue packaging, one lot in green packaging, and there was a whole bunch of different colours, but I got the two colours that are not normal colours. I didn't get the normal colours. And I got them for a really good price. Even the girl at the checkout was surprised. Because <laughs> they were on clearance. Um, yeah, so this one is Rebellion. Which is blue. This blue, which is cool, and this one is a Balmain Instinct, which is khaki green. <laughs> so yeah, I got the two most unusual colours that were in that collection. Those collections, so. Yeah, that is it for this whole video. It was really long. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, so if you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Leave me a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.